Black River Christian Church started as Noblesville Prayer Group. My husband and our family started attending White River Christian Church in late 1972. The first time I came to White River Christian Church, it was meeting in Forest Hill Elementary School. We met in a school, and uh, there's a basketball goal hanging up overhead, bank board. We just had tables set up kind of all around the room, and we had worship time together, and then we separated for Sunday school classes around the tables. God provided a um, place for us when the school told us that we could no longer be there. So we went, we were able to uh, go to the Kitty Academy on the south end of town, and we were there for about a year. Spent some time there where there was a piano, and we all sang, and um, we had to set up folding chairs and take them up and down out of the attic and set them up so that we could have worship services and at the end of service we all stood and made an assembly line and put all the chairs back up in the attic. We were praying all the time and God continued to provide for us. Everybody at White River was very focused on prayer and um, very much loving of our family. We brought property here at uh, 1685 North 10th Street. We had faith, but it was almost out of reach to think that we could have our own space. And I still have pictures of the groundbreaking um, and the future site of White River Christian Church, the sign. Our first meeting was on our land was a tent revival. We had the tent pretty full. I don't know how many people at this time. I'd have to go find the statistics. After we built the church, before it's hardly finished, we moved in. Had no carpet on the floor you know, skeleton building, and we had VBS there that summer. When I first came here, we met in a building that would now encompass where our offices are and some other areas. Uh, had some rooms around the outside that worked for Sunday school, and we worshiped in a small room, and probably about 125 of us. In the early 80s, we took a step of faith, and we built our first sanctuary, and that was a huge step of faith for us. We had to trust the Lord a lot of times for the different things that were happening. We had gotten to the point where we had three services on Sunday mornings and knew that we needed a bigger space, that God was just continuing to add to our family. We entered into a campaign to build the gym and a kitchen. We were getting ready to move out of the old sanctuary into the gym space while the new uh, auditorium was being built. Um, and uh, the, the people that were involved then were excited about everything that was taking place. God was preparing us to move into the facility that we now call our, call our worship space. We would have never been able to imagine what God was going to do here, that this building would be here when we first started. We couldn't even imagine. We couldn't imagine, but God sure could. And in 2005, we began holding a Hispanic worship service with weekly preaching. Initially, there were only about 20 people that attended. Then, in 2007, we added weekly worship music to these services that allowed our Spanish-speaking friends and neighbors to worship their Almighty God with all their passion in their native language every single Sunday. In 2008, God allowed us to purchase the old bowling alley to the south of the church building. I think I remember seeing a picture of that at one point. During outdoor prayer walks with other pastors, I just remember being in the parking lot and just dreaming and praying that we might someday use that building for local outreach, and that's exactly what God did. It's now the building that houses a White River food pantry that provides groceries to over 350 families each week. In 2017, we launched another campus serving the communities of Cicero, Arcadia, Atlanta, and Tipton. Similar to how we began back in 1973, the Hamilton North Campus began meeting at Hamilton Heights High School. Just a few years later, this campus moved from the school to Remnant, a coffee shop and event center in Arcadia that White River was able to purchase and renovate in 2020. Remnant provides a way to connect and serve the community well beyond Sunday mornings, as its tips directly benefit Northern Hamilton County. White River Christian Church has met in many different spaces these last 50 years. The buildings have changed, the music has changed, even the faces have changed, but God has not changed. He remains good, He remains faithful, and He's always the one that we seek, that we serve, that we love. 
and we praise him for the callous ways he has used us and blessed us these last five decades. And we eagerly anticipate how he is going to use White River Christian Church to connect lives to Jesus in our local communities and beyond in the decades ahead.